Hey folks, let's talk about something different. Let's talk about Islamic terrorism. <laughs> oh yes. Anyways, so we've all heard this. There's a lot of people out there saying that what ISIS is trying to achieve with their terrorist attacks is to well make sure that the West uh, hates all Muslims and that therefore will cause all moderate Muslims to... Uh, to radicalize and join ISIS and and all that stuff, and that uh, that in the process then well that left and right will basically join together, stand against uh, uh, Islam and basically radicalize themselves and uh, making sure that we all live in some uh, fascist state under constant martial law where we where we don't have any rights anymore basically. Uh, so and. Uh, and to prevent this, to prevent this, we uh, must not give in to this. We must uh, keep hogging uh, Muslims. We must uh, uh, make sure to stress that it's all just a tiny minority, and that we must stand with Islam and the moderates and etc. And then they will win, and then we will win. But how exactly are you winning? Because if their goal is to uh, is to is to well make sure that everybody start to hate hate Muslims and you won't let this happen, then they will simply continue with their terrorist attacks until it does happen. And if you won't let this happen indefinitely, then they will go on indefinitely. So how exactly is this a winning strategy? Because all it does is basically prolong this whole terror, Islamic terror uh, ordeal indefinitely, because they won't stop. So how is this winning? I don't understand. And how is this a solution? How will this lead to a solution? I mean, yeah, it's all very good and, and, and nice to sit on your high horse and look at me. Look at me, how I'm not giving in, and how we are winning. And no, you're not winning. You're just prolonging shit indefinitely. So, yeah. Uh, how does that work exactly? Inquiring minds want to know. Everybody, have a great day.